Look at how the quest tracker didn't really specify the condition to trigger the quest progress. Usually they ride pretty precise. Yeah. yeah it's kind of weird because it wasn't about killing the bandits. It was either just entering the hut or picking up the note. Not sure which one really triggered it. All right, we'll swing south here as we come back to Asbrook. Did he take the note? No. I'm hoping that we can maybe go and show the note to Odar. Also, what? Let me just check something here. Yeah. Accuse Odor of lying is a new quest thing. Okay. This is uh, the Grand Magistrate. Inspect. Grand Magistrate. Okay. Reputation here. The Grand Magistrate. So it's not like they have their own... The brewery isn't like their own faction or something like that. We still need just a spearman, and then we would have completed the quest for um, the brewer. No, the herbalist. God damn it. Okay, just checking that I had turned on the microphone again. We don't want any more. Uh, audio issues right yesterday i uploaded a video that i hadn't that i haven't really addressed this but i'm aware that it was full of audio issues and uh it should yeah well as you can clearly hear now i have fixed it so i'll be i took that video down because it's you know it was kind of sad uh, but i'll i'll continue the series obviously just we're going to skip that episode some of you caught it already, someone even said that they liked it, but it's like, ah, it hurts my perfection, my OCD. It has to be perfect, otherwise I, I can't have it up there. I was just about to remind you to go burp hunting for your level 3, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're beginning willpower, that's not even a discussion. And I don't know. Rune of Enfeeblement. Enemies adjacent to the Rune Boulder are applied with lower physical resistance, lower move resistance, and lower control resistance, which works really well with the chain, or of all things, which is really fun. <laughs> um, Rune of Sustention. Remaining on the same tile while under the effect of stone armor grants you extra geomantic power, energy drain, and energy restoration for five turns. This effect stacks. So you become the rock. <laughs> That's really cool. I had not seen that one before. And then Rune of Fortifying. Each boulder adjacent to the caster grants them lower damage taken. And boulders receive less damage. And I get to control resistance. Good. Not bad. Huh. Nine more. Eight more. Eight more. Eight more. Yeah. Um, that's really cool. Energy drain and energy restoration. So it's like you are getting a lot of energy all of a sudden with Rune of Ascension. Hmm. And I do stand still under the effect of stone armor while fighting most of the time. So that's cool. I think this one, though, Rune of Fortifying, is the first one we should get, just to take this damage. And my boulders also become more sturdy, which makes it even more bullshit. I don't like any of these. Oh, did you mess? Yeah, they are kind of meh. But we're getting them, obviously. First of all, they lead to new things, and then uh, uh, with Jonna's trait. It means I get extra magic power, you know. Even I, I like that they changed this one into also learning passives. Because before that, I wasn't really picking the passives always. 
But now I feel like I get rewarded for taking the passives. And here's the spearman. Nice. We're pretty far from this brigand camp. In fact, I think this is closer to Manchire, so... We'll leave that for now. I'll go one more... out here. Before we hit back home. <laughs> stop! Stop! Damn it. So each boulder adjacent to the caster. Pushed him into myself. Whoops. Hmm. That's fine. All the berries. The elven citrus. What my damn cryomancing uh, the mouth. All right, that's fair. Cryomancy does sound like it will be fun, and that that you know frost resistance is lowered when you're wet, so suddenly you love the rain. Can't stand the rain. Do, 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 do. Does it seem to you like you need to have an attacked an enemy to trigger opportunity attacks on them? Kind of got the feeling on my runs. Oh. I'm trying to think, but I would say no. Yeah, I think no. No, definitely no. Yeah. I've seen a trigger without having done an, an attack first. To be fair, the, the memory that I'm conjuring up here is like uh, maybe a year old, so it could have changed. But I've definitely seen it before. Just like that you can't set trees and bushes on fire. That's very fair, yeah. How dare you shoot back at me? Who told you that's okay? You can't just shoot arrows at people. It's rude. Take that, he says, and then misses. Oh, a grave. <laughs> oh, poor guy. And the uh, archer is out of ammo. Boats. And then let's dig up a grave, because why not? Would have been a recent change for sure. I mean, it might be a thing. There's so many hidden things in Stone Shard, like little weird rules that we don't get told about. So, it wouldn't surprise me. And the opportunity attack chance is supposed to be 50%. But it could still just be you being really unlucky, you know. But it's a fairly good chance of it triggering, if I understand the attack of opportunity rules correctly. Which I, be I believe it's 50%.
Killing birds all day long. Do do do. Humans should have plus skill slash effectiveness to dig up graves. Ah. I'm trying to think like what maybe stone spikes you should just be able to target a grave with stone spikes and then it just sort of blows off the mud and you can just go and pick up the loot that would be fun earthquake rule of binding petrification no yeah because i would want to put it into one of the, the abilities to, to just be able to do that target a grave with it and i think i, sh I would go for the stone spikes that would make a lot of sense And it's not, it's, it wouldn't do damage or anything, it just like pops up the grave and then you can go and loot. Spreads dirt everywhere. Just gotta wait for the grave rubber tree to be implemented. Alright. Sure. Now we're gonna do a, what I, what's called a pro gamer move. Uh, that's coming in here. Coming up this way? No? Oh, didn't work. Oh no. God damn it. Now I'm lost. Oh no. I lost myself. Oh, here we are. Oh god. I was in the dark. Couldn't see anything. Alright, just come up here. I just wanted to pour some coffee while also walking up. I wonder if you could, like, legit get lost. Go so far out that you can't scroll back. I'm not gonna try, am I? Let's try it. No, okay, so yeah, you can't. There's a limit to where I can go with the camera. All right. So we have to go and accuse Odar of lying. I only see one way to do that. I don't I don't think it would instantly turn the town guard on me and kill me. Like that would kind of ruin the game. So uh let's just do it and hope that I'm right about that. Well, you thought you could pull a fast on one on me, huh? What are you talking about? It's a fair deal. You killed the brigands, and I... Enough with your games, Odar. I've been to the brewery, and I know the truth. You can't handle the truth. And well, that's not what he said. And what exactly do you know? I know that there are no brigands in the brewery, and that you rub elbows with actual thugs, using them to seize businesses for yourself. Who are you to judge me? You're just a mercenary, and you're to do what you're being paid for. In this case, you are being paid to make sure no one's left alive in or around that brewery. I'm not obligated to tell you more than you need to know. I can still go down with it. But ask him to pay extra. Uh, or we can go the honorable route and try to call him out and report him to the magistrate. Huh. I wonder how much extra he would pay. Hydrate. I'll hydrate a bit, and you guys can throw in your votes. There's a vote for honor currently. 
Money is infinite, honor is limited. I love it. I'm usually a bit of a bandit in uh in games, I won't lie. Like but there's a reputation system which incent incentivizes us to do the honorable thing, of course. Once lost, honor cannot be regained. Shady as fuck. And one always does the paladin thing. All right, that's two votes for honor. I'll read them out here. Let me put it in another way. I can get to Bryn even without your card, and once I'm there, I don't think the Magistrate will be happy to learn about a village elder running his own gang. Or, they say, that's where you're wrong. You should never lie about the terms of a contract. I couldn't care less about your petty squabbles. I'll do my part. But unless you want the officials in Bryn to learn about your schemes, you'll have to pay extra. He pays 1,000. Ooh, that's a vote for uh, Dishonor, I think. No tiebreaker? Down with a little extortion? But well, you already cast your vote. <laughs> or at least I thought you did, but there's, there's the proper vote. Oda opens his mouth to say something, but goes quiet. How much do you want for your silence? 500 is not enough. 500 crowns about, sounds about right, and you can forget about the brewery. I'm a mercenary, not a hired thug. Oh, okay. So then I don't have to go and kill anyone. Regardless of what I choose here. 500. Oda lets out a heavy sigh. Fine, you win. I can pay you this much. Uh, but reputation with Osbrook has decreased. I, th I thought as much. So, let's see. Osbrook. Oh, that one doesn't go under reputation lock. God damn it. It's so annoying that some things don't go here, so I don't know how much it cost me. We were we were at the next tier though, before, up here. Which is covered up by the numbers. Minus two hundred or four hundred, yeah. Yeah, down from I think two thousand is probably the breaking point. So we probably lost four hundred. Common cause. Oh, okay. 20% of the reputation you get from completing or failing this settlement's contracts additionally contributes to your standing with the rest of the faction settlements up to the point of reaching benevolence with them. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Same here, same here. Ah, so that's the synergy between them up to the point of benevolence, which is also something to note. And forehold. Run Willow Tavern does not have this. Okay. Well, we extorted order for 500 gold, then we lost some reputation, which is also worth gold. It probably gets my gold a bit higher for a while, but then at some point the reputation loss will end up costing us more, which is eh, whatever. Forty for the hourglass, okay. Ladle is worth two money, okay. Someone complained on the YouTubes in a comment that I picked up a ladle somewhere, so I was kind of interested to see exactly how much it paid. Two money is not a lot of money. To be fair, sometimes I pick up some loot just because I think it's silly and dumb. <laughs> if I had to defend myself, like that's part of the reason. Uh, let's get an identification scroll. And we will use this one on the potion. Potion of Rage. I don't know if I would ever use the Rage Potion. Yeah. 
right, we save those two swords. We equip the chain again and we're gonna repair it. We can save the note here. We still have an enchantment scroll. I could enchant the chain. Oh, we gotta have a magical chain. Fumble chance minus 5%. Score! That's actually really nice because it works with the spells. So, as dumb as it sounds, it's like a, it's what, it's a handy chain now. Lovely. And it's cheap to repair, so that's something. Fumble chance, minus 28. Oh, it was 33 before. No, I was thinking it was 35. No, no, so it does make sense. All right, you will buy the alcohol. I wanted to sell the citrus fruit. Yeah, 20. Oh, she, they just closed shop, okay. Oh, we can buy another Destinger jar, really? Huh, okay. You absolute madman, unsubbing in protest. What, why? Because of the ladle thing? Huh. Oh, for enchanting the, the handy chain. Be like Grog, I would like to rage. Look. Oh, critical role reference, I don't watch that. Oh no, I'm gonna lose subscribers now. Oh no. I have a lot of nerd friends that are pressuring me into watching Critical Role. They're like, oh, how can we even be friends with you when we don't watch Critical Role? And I'm like, there's only so many hours in a day, I can't do all the things. I will pay for your rumor, sir. It is a moose trail. Moose trail. Okay, so we can go here and find moose. Moose? Emotional blackmail. That's emotional blackmail. That's what it is. We have all the things that we need to go on the quest. We just need to wait until Oda wakes back up. Hopefully all my food doesn't rot here. Some of it is close, I think. BRB AFK cleaning. All right, no worries. Nerds. I just called you a nerd indirectly. You know what? I don't say, I've always found uh, pride in the word nerd. So from when you hear it from me, it's, it's uh, not a critique, it's compliment. I was doing nerd pride before everyone else. Ah, probably not, but I was proud of it pretty early, even when I was being talked down to in school for being a nerd. I was like, well, sucks to be you, you're not a nerd. About the brewery, well, never mind. Oh, uh, he wants me to pay for a rumor again. Desolate camp. Here, okay. One of the guards told me about an entire outlaw gang they decimated some time ago. Looks like these scumbags set up their raid camp a good distance away from the main roads. Uh, it should be empty now, but for how long? All right, so we should go and check that out. <laughs> That's good little bay. Oh, I don't know if the Mike Hawk guy is still here, but I, I got the joke while I was taking my bathroom break. I, it, it dawned on me, so I understand now. 
it's ha ha funny. It's actually funny, but I'm not gonna spill it out in detail, obviously, on stream, because it's a dirty joke. Oh, I don't have a flea ward. God damn it! All right. Soon, soon we will have the herbalist quest completed. We have lock picks. We have splints, medical supplies in general. I have enough ammo. I have food. I have water. I think. I think we are ready to go out and about in the wild. Gotta bring back a flea ward this time. And three bears. A flea ward and three bears. Here's a flea ward. And another one. A little bit more west. Roasted drumstick is about to spoil. All right. Just eat it. Just Eat It is a song by Weird Al Yankovic, which was referenced in the final episode of Season 2 JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, and I was bizarrely very uh, surprised that it was referenced in that series. But there you go. I thought that was kind of fun. Chained. Have a cleaver, good. Oh, and another grave. Do the thing. A chain is not the best digging tool, but don't bother. Have you watched more Stone Ocean? Um, yes, I have. I am watching like an episode per day-ish of, of that. And yes, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is very exhausting. I'm also not sure I'm a fan of the new season, but it's like Jojo's is so weird no matter what, so it's like whatever, yeah. It's just another JoJo season. What I like about JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is that it's always fresh. They always do something new. And they accomplish that again. I'm dying here. Okay. Oof. Everything's fine. Because I wanted to kill the fleeing guy. Yeah. There was a genuine chance that we died just then, but we didn't, so take that, RNG. I want to talk more about JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, but I don't think I want to spoil the new season for people, so I think I'll abstain a bit, in case there's someone who, who would actually want to watch it and don't want spoilers.
So it has surprised me already a lot, and you know, I hate spoilers personally, so try not to, to spoil anything for anyone else. There. We gotta run. This could be bad. Ah, oh, but he shot it. Oh, Archer. Yes! Uh, oh, glorious. Good stuff, man. Never change, don't shot. Okay, do, do change this. Do change that. Change some things, not everything. Second win, nice. You don't have to yell second win, Joanna. She's like an anime character. Second win in the middle of combat. <laughs> that chain is not really carrying anymore. No, no, it's a gimmick. Just having fun with it. Because I think we can get away with it due to Geomancy being overpowered. It's like uh, weighted training clothes, you know? So it was just a camp. Okay. Just a normal bandit camp. The pot is worth a fair amount of money. We can, oh, we can throw the market people. Why not? I could sleep here. Yeah. Let's get that rest buff. I know we already had it, <clears throat> but it would have run out in the dungeon. Oh, the rotten meat. Damn. Okay. I should try to pick up some food as we move along here. Let me go up to this corner up here. In fact, maybe we take this opportunity to explore this part of the map so I don't have to do it later. Yeah, even though I know I just slept for the rest buff, but I kind of... In the other playthrough that we're doing on the YouTube you know, um, I finally started exploring the map and I'm regretting not exploring more when I was already at the corner of the map edges. So I'm going to do that now here. To save time in the long run. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll find something cool. Who knows. In the dark. Here and there. And that should be the top of the map. There's even a road leading west from here. A boar is spotted. I beg to differ. Oh, there it is. Okay. There. Hard to see, but it's here. Oh, it has the dash, so we gotta watch out. And I need the... boulder next to me. But we'll get one more boulder down before that happens. So here. Then the armor here. Then punch. And that stunned it. Nice. Now we have a boulder next to us. And it's hitting the boulder. 
God damn it, game. Fatty meat and a boar pelt. What am I doing? Destroy the boulder. Get out. Oh, wait, wait. Pick up the boats. Okay. Reload the crossbow. Poacher switches to melee. All right, I don't. Oh, there, there's a fight somewhere that I'm not a part of right now. And there's a road leading this way. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Um. Oh, nice. Okay. 50% of his health in one go. Let's see, here's a tree. What if I do like this and that? There, now I'm close to two boulders. Good. Stop moving. Oh, uh, we're not doing the bear thing right now. No, I'm doing an exploration thing right now. As fun as it would be, it does take quite a while. Here's a wolf, also known as free food. Wow. Did I just stun the wolf with a boat? How? Because it was already dazed and day stacks into stun? I thought they made it change that, but maybe not. Nice. Oh, come on. Okay. So what's this build all about? Geomancer plus dual play, which is more dominant or something else. It's Geomancy. It's just Geomancy. And then... Someone's gonna hate me for saying it, but I think Geomancy is overpowered, and so we can get away with doing silly stuff like having, having a chain, which I think is kind of fun. And that's why we are running around with a dual chain. Not sure that's the right terminology, but whatever. Oh, and a pelt. Okay, so that's worth more than the rabbit pelt, is it? I mean, sure it is, but this one's much smaller. You can drink, merge those, drop that. Two more, rope gone. Oh, I wasn't supposed to bring the potion. Ah. <clears throat> Whatever.
the strong thing about geomancy is that you can block enemy movement with the runic boulder even if you disregard the damage that it can potentially do you can block their movement and run away from them and it, they will never catch up to you because you can just put a boulder in front of them then you walk away you win two tiles of movement they they you get your boulder ready again you put the boulder in front of them and you will eventually run away like it's the best character for running away and you can use it to block enemy archer fire so that they can't shoot you in the back as you're running away so it's the most survivable build just for being able to to, to deny enemy attacking you And in theory, I never have to go into melee. We just do it every, every once in a while. Oh, here's a black abbey. Okay. Let's dig up another grave here. I'm sure this is a quest location that we will come back to later, so we're not going to do this dungeon right now. Oh, I should have checked if there's a shovel, but too late. The scabbard. Sheath, whatever. I don't think it's worth enough. Oh, this looks like a special dungeon. 